Welcome back to the Lion's Den, guys. My name's Tyler. Today we're gonna go over a beginner guide to Apex, going over some basics. Now, I recognize that I've put many hours into this game in the last three weeks since its inception, and that is not the reality for most players. Yeah, you have tryhards, but for most people, this is gonna be a fresh game. It's new, you haven't played it a lot, and you're just getting your feet wet. This video is for you. It's aimed to help you learn the basics so you can start to see those champion screens. Now the first mechanic I want to tackle is the smart ping system. Essentially, if you think you can ping an item in this game, then you can. The game's intuitive enough to realize that you're pinging a gun, ammo, shield, supplies, and so on. It's so smart that when you ping a crate, it will even tell you if the crate is open or not. It'll do this auditorily for your entire team to hear. If you ping a zip line, it will call it out. Same thing for care packages, when they drop out of the sky, if you ping that, it will call it out to your team. If it's open, it will call it out to your team. If you hold down the ping button, a selection wheel pops up, similar to ones in like Battlefield, and it gives you options such as someone's been here, enemies, defending here, looting this area, and so on. This is super useful when you're solo queuing and you're trying to play alone. This way you can communicate to your team and allow a flow of information without the usage of mics. Now in addition to this, you can ping an enemy who's down but not out, and at the same time, if they die, you can ping their death box, and that basically just alerts the team that you're going for them, hey, I'm coming to get the revive, I'm coming to get your, your banner, and then that dead teammate can push the jump button and you will ping the nearest respawn location for your team. A couple other side notes. When you look through gear, if you ping the ammo symbol that's attached to your weapon, you will request that ammo from your teammate. And if you need a backpack, helmet, anything like that, just ping that empty slot on your menu and you'll request it from your team. Now as a bonus tip, when you ping a location, it will show you the distance in meters. Now you can use that ping to gauge bullet drop if you're using a sniper rifle or you're shooting at distance. When you ping, look at how far it is and then gauge that on where you need to lead your enemy and how high you need to adjust with. Next thing I want to talk about is going to be the loot. So the levels to loot are white being lowest, blue is mid tier, purple is high tier, and gold is legendary. Now you should take note that gold and purple do the same amount of whatever item it is. So the gold backpack carries the same amount as the purple, the gold shield gives you the same amount of shield as the purple, but the gold has a extra perk available with it. So the gold shield automatically replenishes its shield when you finish an execution, whereas the purple shield still requires you to use the shield cells or shield batteries. This said, the game is smart enough to not let you downgrade to lower loot. If you have a purple helmet, you cannot swap it for a blue one or a white one. The only time that this is allowed to happen is if you have a damaged shield and you're trying to swap to a full shield that's lower than the one you have. Secondly, the game auto-equips any relevant attachments to any guns that you have. It will replace the attachments automatically for you with the higher tiered attachment that you find. You can store extras in your bag for yourself or for your friend or later in the game. If you're trying to pick up a sniper scope and you don't have a sniper yet, keep it in your pocket, that's great. When dealing with your sights, just simply highlight the sight on your gun and tap X or the action button and that will swap sights between weapons for you automatically. And then you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, and then lastly, when you come from across those gold colored boxes, those gold colored death boxes, a couple things you need to know. Obviously you want to rush them, you want to find that gold piece they have in there, could have that lovely Kraber, um, but it also could just have a turbocharger attachment and you're not trying to run, you know, an energy weapon right now or use the devotion. Meanwhile, you have a white box laying on the ground that could have 300 rounds of heavy ammo, three grenades, four thermite grenades, two arc stars, and something that you could use, but you don't go over to that crate first because it's white. So I'm not saying don't go for the gold, but you definitely need to just pay attention because me and my buddies all the time, if I find a gold piece in a loot crate, I simply just pick that gold loot crate up, I mean pick that piece up, and I'll drop it in a bush, I'll hide it, and I won't let anybody use that piece against me. I'll just let it get lost in the storm, you know. And the last thing is that all of the loot boxes that you find in the game are always categorized guns, ammo, attachments, gear, and equipment top down in that order um 
but thanks for watching guys i really appreciate the reviews um hope you guys are enjoying the content let me know what you like or don't like in the comments and have a great day